Today we're going to learn how to evert an upper eyelid and sweep both the upper and lower eyelid fornices. So you might want to do this if somebody comes in with a foreign body sensation, oftentimes a dust or a piece of dirt might have blown into the eye and gotten stuck under the eyelid. And you may see linear corneal abrasions or some other sign clinically that you need to go look for that uh, foreign body. If you don't see it on the cornea, it makes sense to look under the eyelids and sweep. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do, of course, after you've washed your hands and examined your patient, you're going to make sure that you apply some topical anesthetic, because uh, otherwise this can be painful. So put a drop of topical anesthetic, and we're going to use a Q-tip. So, in this case, because we're going to use the cotton part of the Q-tip to sweep, we want to apply some topical anesthetic to that as well. Otherwise, some of the rough fibers can cause some scratches and abrasions. Next, we're going to have our patient look down, and we're going to look for the eyelid crease, basically, and apply the wooden part of the Q-tip to the crease. And we're going to grab the eyelashes, push down at the eyelid crease with the wooden stem, and pull up with our thumb on the eyelashes. And then you can hold them there, basically, while Jeremy looks down. Next, we're going to take a look here. And what we'll do is switch hands so that I have some access with my Q-tip. So I'll use my thumb to hold the eyelid. And we'll use the moistened end of the Q-tip to sweep any foreign bodies out. And look way down, Jeremy. You can actually sweep all the way up into the fornix. And then once you've done that, just release the eyelid and look up for a moment. And we can actually view the inferior fornix as well. And if we had to, we could sweep that too. A couple of common pitfalls with this are that the eyelids are sometimes moist from drops and if the eyelashes are wet it's very difficult to grasp them. Some people have thicker eyelids or shorter eyelashes that can be hard to grasp. Um, the Q-tip really helps a lot um, but placement of the eyelid crease is really what's going to make the difference in an eyelid that's difficult to evert. And other than that it's, uh, it's a very safe and easy maneuver that you can use in clinics and in the emergency department.